What's up, everybody? How's it going? No, I guess I hate everybody. No. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Today, I am joined by my good friend Chris Garisa. He's another YouTuber, and he is a veteran software engineer intern. He's interned at what, like? I think like. Four, four companies, and he's yeah. about to intern at Google, and he came to me today, yeah, do the dab, <laughs> he came to me today because he told me that he keeps hearing on his college campus uh, from other students about all these, like, myths about Google internships, Fang internships, and so today, mm -hmm. we're here to dispel these myths. I don't think a lot of these things are true, but people don't always listen to interns and trust one intern's experience. Luckily, Clement has actually hosted interns before, so he can actually confirm whether or not these are true, and and we just want to talk about them for you guys today. Exactly. I hosted three interns at Google, and let's get into the myth bust. Awesome. So the first thing that I hear a lot is that Fang interns always know what they're doing, especially like Google, Facebook. Once you drop those names, people assume that you're just miles ahead of everyone else. You think on a different plane. And as someone who's interned at Facebook and about to go to Google, I don't think that's the case. I often don't know what I'm doing. Clement, are interns supposed to know what they're doing? No, I think that's probably the most pervasive myth yeah. out there that like the interns at these companies are geniuses who have yeah. everything figured out. They're the most advanced software engineers in the world. And that's not true. Yes, they are very smart and capable people. They tend to be very sort of intellectually curious, mm -hmm. but they don't know everything. In fact, the internships are meant for them to not know much mm -hmm. and to teach them. So that's why I think it's very common to see actually people go to Fang as their first internship, right. where they have no industry experience whatsoever, right. and they're just there to learn. Right, so there is an assumption that you have intellectual vitality, a phrase you've actually told me, yeah. and you are driven in the computer science field, but you don't have any context in a specific domain, at least to the extent that other software engineers would. Exactly. Yeah. So another myth that I keep hearing, which is similar to that first one, is that in order to get a Fang internship, you need to have taken maybe 10 computer science classes, you need to have done five different really impressive software engineering projects. How accurate is that? I don't think it's very accurate for me, at least. I do know other Fang interns who have been hobbyist programmers for a long time. Some of them started programming in elementary school, but at least for me, I started right when I went into college, and I just spent a lot of time learning how to recruit and actually just interviewing, and I got my first internship after just taking my data structures and algorithms class, right. which is often the second class that you take in college. And you do need some sort of projects or work experience on your resume most of the time. But for me, these were just class projects. You can stretch a lot of these things to match as qualifications, but they don't need to be like things that you made for fun in your free time. Exactly. And so it's not uncommon to see interns get a FANG internship with only a couple of CS classes under their belt and maybe one or two projects on their resume, some of which might be quite projects. Yeah, definitely. So I guess knowing that interns don't have that much experience, people will scare me and say that a lot of intern managers just hand interns throwaway projects. That because it's already such a big company and there's a lot going on, that there isn't enough room to really give interns huge leverage in the code base. Is that true? Do intern projects get like thrown away? At least from your experience. Right. Yeah. So I think that that is not true for the most part, mm -hmm. but it does depend. Okay. I think that a lot of it, unfortunately, will depend on your manager. Right, right. And if you have a great manager like yours truly, then you're going to have a great project. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, no, speaking more seriously, I think that intern projects are meant to be a learning experience for mm -hmm. the intern, and they are not meant to be extremely stressful or extremely critical to the product or to the company. Right. So I would never, as an intern manager, give you an intern project that if you failed to complete complete it mm. would really negatively impact the rest of my team because right, that would right. put undue pressure on you. It would just not be a good environment for you. Right. However, I really try to make intern projects not be throwaway work. I want you to come out of the internship and be like, I launched something right, if right. possible. Yeah. So historically for my interns, I've given them projects that they have been able to actually launch to production, which is okay. very exciting for them and for the rest of the team. Yeah, that's awesome. But like that being said, I do think that there are interns out there that have have their projects thrown away, right. but not really by design. I mean, hopefully it's not by design, right. but things happen, you know, teams change, yeah. you know, business needs change, and like the scope is hard to predict sometimes, and there are gonna be interns out there. Do you agree with that? I agree, interns? I okay. agree. Yeah. And I would say like, that like over, overall, basically, if you do get your intern project thrown away, don't be too disappointed, right. because it's like you said, it's not by design. Okay, and it's not really, it doesn't really affect your status in terms of getting a return offer, right? No. So if, if it's beyond your control. Exactly, okay, and yeah, that's yeah. probably, I would say that's the next myth that we're going to talk okay, about. Okay. 
yeah. which is that is your entire performance as an intern based on your project? Like, if you don't launch something to production, did you fail as an intern? No, that's not true. Okay. In fact, <laughs> I, would, I would say that, okay. that yeah. your, your performance as an intern is much more, how well did you learn? How well did you adapt to your environment? Were you able mm -hmm. to you know, push quality code, not necessarily to production, but, you know, commit it at least, right? Merge it into the code base, so to speak. Right, right. Were you a good teammate? Were you respectful? You know, were you, to, to steal the word that you probably stole from me or the phrase, intellectual vitality? Were you, like, did you, no, but did you seem like someone who was really interested in the field and who was really interested in the company and who would just make a great future coworker? That's really right. what you're assessed on. Right. Not so much, like, did you launch 3,000 lines of code to production? Right. So from my experience, people have been transparent about what interns are being benchmarked on. Yeah. And code quality is often one of them, but that doesn't necessarily mean impact. So exactly. impact is rarely one. I mean, people do want interns to drive for like metric improvements or for just overall value or usefulness to your yep. team. But I don't think that a lot of it, like the intern is liable for. Exactly. And it's always, it's one of those things where it's always great to have impact. Mm but it's not by any means one of the core things you're assessed on. And to be honest, even for let's say an entry level or sort of mid tier engineer, impact is not going to be the kind of impact that you are probably picturing in your mind of, you know, launching a product to millions of users. That's probably going to be something that the directors or managers mm -hmm. are really assessed on, but not the people like the interns or the, the engineers, you know, actually writing out the code. Okay. That, that's reassuring. <laughs> okay. So the next thing that I hear all the time is that- Wait, Chris, are... do, you, do you mind getting me that cup of coffee, please? Okay, so thank you. As I was saying, you're, you're being a great intern right now. People keep saying that interns are just personal assistants in the sense that people refer to interns as someone's intern. And I think in a lot of fields, really the premise of the internship is shadowing someone in the field. And it's really about who you know. I think Gary V even made a video saying it's really who you know, not right. what you do. Is this true in engineering? Are you really just a personal assistant or like a shadow of someone? Or not at all. Oh, okay. I, I would okay. say that, uh, okay, maybe the term shadow could be applied to engineering in the sense that you are trying to learn from your right, engineering right. peers or your engineering mentors. However, at internships at companies like Google, mm -hmm. you will certainly not be a personal assistant. So by the way, I hope that none of you believed what we just it did with the, with the coffee. That was a <laughs> joke. Hope. You will never, you will never be treated, or at least I sure hope that you would never be treated like that at an internship at these big tech companies. As an intern, you have a lot of power. You're mm -hmm. going to be writing actual code. And like I said, you might even be launching something to production. Mm -hmm. uh, but so you will not be crap. Okay. That'd be funny to leave in, actually. But so you will not be asked to get sandwiches or coffee for your engineering managers. Yeah. It's just absolutely not okay. what it's going to be. Yeah, and then once again, I think that in general, this is the case by design. That's how internships work. I found that engineering internships are focused on the project, which isn't always the same in other fields, Right. but it is an independent project. However, there can be bad managers out there or managers yeah. with different ideas of what's expected. But in general, from Fang, large company, like very established internship programs, it's right. usually very just project focused. As with everything in life, there are always exceptions. Yeah, there are always exceptions, yeah. And hopefully you don't fall on a bad intern manager. Yeah. But even then, I would say that most bad intern managers at these kinds of companies are not going to be that bad to where they're going to be like asking you to get coffee. That's yeah, just like yeah. not how it's done in these companies. I think maybe not as extreme, but maybe there are some cases in which managers will ask interns to like clean up bugs or like refactor things. Right. But a lot of times those are just assigned as like starter projects or warm ups to ramp them up on the code base, but not really as a project in itself. Exactly. So one other myth that I hear all the time, especially from interns, is that the actual interviews to get an internship at Google are impossible, super difficult. They're these like puzzle based, you know, wire, pothole, circle, that kind of stuff. Right. Did I say pothole? Is pothole an actual word? Or manhole. Pot pothole is like, yeah, like the actual okay. holes in the road. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> is that oh. is that actually true? This frustrates me because I see a lot of YouTube videos on would you pass the Google interview? Right, Take right. this five minute quiz to find out, and it's like our manhole wire manhole covers round. And I I don't I didn't get any of these questions. Maybe other interns did, and right. that that sounds kind of fun. But no, in general, it's just basic algorithms and data structures questions. Like I got some graph questions, some link list arrays, um, right. some a little bit more complicated like searches or dynamic programming questions. 
questions, but I didn't even get any system design or um, database questions, anything like that. Right. Um, but don't quote me on that. Other interns maybe might, but mine was a very general algorithms thing. Very much like questions you would see on algoexpert.io slash Chris, promo code Chris. This is a perfect time to plug algoexpert, algoexpert.io, my company. We offer you a curated list of coding interview questions with the coding workspace, with video explanations, and these are exactly the kind of coding interview questions that you would get in a software engineering interview for an internship at Fang. And by the way, what I wanted to add, Chris, is that interviews for interns Mm -hmm. are very much the same as interviews for full-time software engineers. Okay. They are just typically the, the interns assessed at a slightly lower bar. Okay. That's basically it. So it's the same kind of questions, but if you're a full-time engineer or a senior engineer, the bar is higher and higher and higher. Okay. But so if you're an intern and you're preparing for your coding interviews for a FANG internship, then you should study from the same kinds of questions. So go check out algoexpert.io. <laughs> But, like, the interviews did take a lot of work. Like, it right. was a lot of just grinding, and I took a few tries to pass the Google interview. Is it gonna be like that the whole internship? Because from my experience, from previous internships, the manager's on your side, the team's on your side, people want you to do well, and people will let you have a chill time and enjoy your time at the internship. Is it usually like that across all internships, for the most part? Yeah, I would say that it's definitely a myth that you would be overworked during the uh, internship. Okay. It's not gonna be grinding 24-7, and being yeah. overworked. In fact, like these big tech companies tend to really want to give a very great experience yeah. to the interns. So they want to give them good work-life balance and all of that. At that being said, it will not be all sunshines and rainbows like you see in, you know, Day in the Life of videos on YouTube. You're familiar with Day in the Life of videos. Chris. I got roasted really hard. Um, it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to be eating and drinking coffee and playing ping pong all day as an intern. You're going to be doing those things. You'll have ample time to do those things, but there's still a lot of work, but you're not going to be overworked either. Um, and I think it also depends on the team, the company, and I think the individual too. I know yep. a lot of people that I interned with were very driven and would stay from like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, just straight coding the entire time. But I feel like if they were to leave like at five, It'd be no one would really have a problem with that. Though, yes, it depends on the, the culture. Exactly. There's a pressure. It's usually implicit, but I don't think anyone's ever forced to stay. Like people will really ask you to stay long. I mean, if it's 4 p.m. and you push something out and it breaks and it's pretty urgent and yeah, you kind of need to fix that, but exactly. in general, I don't think people, people blow it out of proportion. I've also seen a couple yeah. of my own interns do what you just described. If they come in very early, for instance, or they'll stay in right, very late. Right. But it's always been self-imposed. Even right, I, I would right, tell right. them, you, know, you don't have to do this by any means. But it's more because they're kind of treating it as, oh, well, I've got 12 weeks of this amazing opportunity. I want to just, you know, breathe it in as much as possible. Right. But it's by no means mandatory. Yeah, I used, I would be a kind of a tryhard, especially in my right. like first couple of internships. But overall, like, I'm still, you know, I, I chilled out a bit, made a few day in the life videos, and right. I'm still four for four. So these are the most common myths about FANG internships that Chris and I always hear about. Hopefully we dispelled them in this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and to turn on the notification bell, smash the like button. And Chris and I actually did another video where we talked about what do interns at these companies actually do? And that video is on Chris's channel. I'll put the link in the description below. And I think it's a pretty good video. It's a pretty good video. For those of you still here, we're about to see if Chris can do a spring with cards. Let's see, Chris. Try this. Uh, Ready? Okay. If you don't do this, okay. you fail your internship. <laughs> Where's my return offer? <laughs> no, oh my I, God, I realized my fly was down the whole time.